Hello everyone, this is Lynn and welcome to my channel. I'm back with the Take 5 Art Journal Challenge that was started by Kara Pace on YouTube. It's a monthly collaboration with a group of ladies and you will find links to their channels in the description below. Kyra usually picks five prompts for us to use in our art journaling and we get different prompts every month. But this time around, our theme is to pick five older supplies in our stash. For mine, I dug out quite a few old things. I have a few old stamp sets and the floral rubber stamp is at least 15 years old. I bought it when I thought of taking up scrapbooking but never quite got around to it. At that time, supplies were pretty hard to come by locally. The second item is a tube of matte gel medium. I haven't really used this one as I switched to something else and kind of forgot about this tube. It even has a cracked cover that I didn't really notice or forgot about. The third item is a tube of Jo Sonia acrylic paint. Um, I bought it a really long time ago and wasn't even sure what I got it for. And the other old supplies are the one ink tent blocks, ink tents, ink tents blocks, and distress inks. I got them early 2015 when I started picking up paper crafting and mixed media. And the last item uh, is a Tim Holtz stencil in lattice work. This is probably the first stencil I got, and it was my favorite for a long time because it's pretty versatile. So here I am uh, starting out with uh, some tissue paper. I think this one is by Tim Holtz. I got this or I received uh, this small sample from a pen pal I think back in 2015. Most of the products you see me use in this video are relatively old or as old as when I first took up this hobby which was around two or three years ago. After sticking the tissue paper down with the matte gel medium, of which I'm quite pleased that it still works, I then cut off the excess around the edges. And then I took out the Faber-Castell gesso, which is a very thin white gesso, and applied it on top of uh, the tissue paper. I then proceeded to colour the pages using the ink tense blocks. As these are water soluble, I applied some water with a damp brush to spread the colour around. I forgot how much I like this product and have hardly ever used it, which is why it still looks quite new. I really like how vivid the colours remain even after diluting it with water. I applied a few shades uh, in pink, green, yellow, blue and orange. I really like the way this blends as well and it works great as a quick background. After applying the ink tents, I then blotted some Distress Ink in Walnut Stain through the Tim Holtz stencil. I created the stenciling diagonally down the page. Now, this was when the slight disaster happened. Well, maybe not a disaster, but it was rather gross. It looked like the old paint had separated from the binders and it was just leaking out some yucky liquid. I had to stop using it at that point and went to the sink to wash everything off. It also smelled quite funky, so I knew I had to toss it in the bin. So I moved on to use a cheap gold acrylic paint and stenciled some little stars across the pages. 
You can barely see it on camera, but the effect is really pretty in person. After that, I stamped some gold roses with a gold ink that again hardly shows up on camera, but it's there. As mentioned earlier on, this stamp is set, this stamp set is probably 15 years old, but it's still in pretty good condition. The next thing was to cut out a few clocks and watches from a Graphics 45 pattern paper that came out in 2009. I was initially gonna do something related to time but changed my mind soon after. After cutting out a few of the images, I then stuck them down with matte gel medium, the same matte gel medium I was using earlier on. I also splattered some Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold all over the page. This was when I decided to change the theme and wanted to include some butterflies. So I prepped a small piece of paper with white gesso and scribbled the intense blocks on top. I then smudged the colors with a damp finger and then blended everything with a baby wipe. Then I stamped a few butterflies using a Kaisercraft stamp. I'm not sure if this set is still in production, but it's one of my favourite butterfly stamps. I fussy cut the butterflies and shaded the edges with Distress Ink in Vintage Photo. I stuck a couple down with some pop-up foam squares so that it's more dimensional. The last thing was to add a title and I used a Tim Holtz sticker with the caption Learning to Fly. I created a little cluster with some scraps and stuck the sticker on top with foam squares. I also stuck another Tim Holtz tiny text sticker that says, With brave wings she flies. Distress the edges before sticking it down with some liquid glue to make sure it doesn't fall off. So here's a closer look at what I've done in this Take 5 art challenge. I wished I had created some layers behind the images to add a bit more interest so that the watches don't lie as flat, but I am quite happy with how the colours turned out. I need to play with these intense blocks more frequently. Please be sure to check out what the other ladies are up to and show them some love. Let me know if you're playing along and please use the hashtag Take5Art and tag me if you'd like. I would love to see what you're up to. I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. So that's it for today and until the next time, take care and bye bye!